One of the most interesting things about this chair is that it is made from oak, which came from uh, the Kirk of Alloway, which is the village where Robert Burns was born in 1759. On the back of the chair, there are four brass panels on which are engraved the lines of the poem Tam o' Shanter. The poem Tam o' Shanter tells the story of a man named Tam who, coming home drunk from market, passes by the Kirk of Alloway and, looking in the windows, sees a, a feast, a dance of warlocks, witches, the devil himself is playing bagpipes. Tam forgets himself and calls out and is seen and in the ensuing chase uh, his trusty steed Meg loses her tail. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg. Tam scalp it on through Dublin mire despising wind and rain and fire was hodding fast his good blue bonnet, was crooning o'er some old Scot sonnet, was glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirkalloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. Robert Burns is one of the best known Scottish poets. He is celebrated worldwide annually on 25th of January, which is Burns Night. By 1790, when Robert Burns' epic poem Tam o' Shanter was published, uh, the Kirk of Alloway was a ruin and many pieces of timber from the roof of it were used to make Burns-related memorabilia. There is a handwritten panel which details information about the oak of the chair coming from Alloway Kirk and also the provenance information of the chair being presented to George IV on his visit to Edinburgh in 1822. The maker of this chair, John Underwood from Ayrshire, featured thistles in his decorative carving of the chair and thistles are a national emblem of Scotland. Visitors can see the Tam O'Shanter chair at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh.